Hello and welcome to the next <coughs> Lucosa Retro Game Review video. And for this one it is Star Race, uh, which was released by Master Tronic in 1984. So it's relatively early. Um, although this did come out in the same year as Impossible Mission. <coughs> Needless to say that the uh, programming um, abilities of uh, Epix weren't quite uh, being mimicked by Mastertronic in these days, if they ever were. Um, Star Race is one of those games which y you kind of feel was missold because it was sold as a shoot -em up and I guess in a way it is a shoot 'em up um, but uh, yeah I mean it when I say in a way um, let's get a game underway and I've got to sort the fucking keys out by the looks of it because uh, I don't really press ok right here we go so here we are at level 1 now the idea of level 1 is to avoid all of these things that are trying to run into you and it's a fucking pain in the ass because I am pretty sure you have to go through this uh, level in like one go you know you're not allowed yeah, if, if you lose a life you've got to start the whole level again from scratch. I'm pretty sure that is the case because it certainly is the case with uh, all other levels. Now, even though this isn't from uh, the uh, Darling Brothers, um, listening to the music and looking at uh, the graphics and the way it plays, you would think, well it certainly looks like one, so there we go, so we completed zone 1. Now with zone 2 you have to avoid the uh, asteroids that are coming along. Now remember I did say this is a shoot 'em up and um, indeed it was advertised as a shoot 'em up. And uh, well level 1 you can't fire, level 2 you can't fire level 3 which I should make because level 2 is pretty easy but level 3 here we go level 3 you're right, we have to get onto that uh, mothership which is now going to appear here and to do it we have to stay in its beam but there are uh, asteroids that occasionally come down which you have to avoid and that means that level 3 uh, you can't fire so, um, but level 4, which is obviously the, the next level from here, you can fire. Fuck yeah. The trouble is, level 4 is monumentally difficult, as we are about to find out. So here we go with level 4. Now, as well as the size of that ship, and the rate that it fucking fires at you um, if you fire more than once as you can see your uh, shot that you had previously fired disappears so you have to fire one at a time uh, you've got to hit that thing 20 times <laughs> I'm lucky if I manage to hit it three I only hit it one on that go. Uh, so, right, let's have another go at this fucking thing. Right, so back to level fucking one. But yeah, level four there of this shoot 'em up is the only level in the game where you can actually fire. So, why the fuck was this advertised as a shoot 'em up when? four of the five levels in the fucking game mean well 
are done in such a way that you can't fire. This fucking first level is such a fucking pain in the arse. And the reason that you can't fire on level 1 is stated that it's because the enemy ships don't fire at you. Well, they are firing at me. And not often, but they do fire at you. So, that whole thing about you can't fire at them because they're not firing at you is absolute bollocks. Now on a level 2. I think, yeah, level 2 you can actually fire, but your shots don't do anything. So firing, alright, yeah, is possible, but it's also pointless, because you can't actually do anything with any of the shots you, you uh, launch. <laughs> so, alright, let's get the, the review underway. First of all, sound. Um, the music is fucking bollocks. Um, you know, uh... There's no other word for it, really. Uh, the sound effects are very sparse. Basically, it's if your ship blows up, or if there's text appearing on the screen. And as far as level four, um, yeah, you hear the sound of, uh, you know, if you hit the alien ship, or when you fire. But that's it. Well, there might be some on level 5, but I've never got there, because in order to get to level 5, you got to get past this cunting level. Which is just a fucking piss take. Oh, for fuck's sake! And it coming up too bad when you uh, die doesn't help much. But when are you so ah? Oh, it's ah oh, just okay, so yeah. Uh, audio is shit. Graphics are unbelievably basic, even by you know 1984 Master Trike standards. So um, yeah, the graphics are just fucking shit. Um, and the gameplay is just fucking taking the piss, you know, a shoot em up where for, you know, four or five levels you can't shoot anything. Uh, who the fuck came up with that idea? Uh, it's, ah, uh, it's just fucking taking the piss. Fucking hell, I don't know how I got through there, I think I'm nearing the end. Fucking hope I have. There we go. Um, so yeah, I mean the game is bollocks, there's, there's no two ways about it. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the worst game Master Trying have ever released. Uh, when you consider that, you know, four years after this they released fucking Speed Zone. Uh, well... Uh, but then again, amazingly, that isn't the worst game Mastertronic ever released either. I will be reviewing uh, what I consider to be the worst Mastertronic game ever uh, quite soon. It may even be the next game after this. That really is a game that needs to be seen to be believed. Uh, so, don't, don't doubt for one minute that this game is not a fucking heap of shit, because it fucking is. But, um, yeah, compared to the next one, okay, no. Uh, so, what do I score it? Well, I, I don't. Um, I, the, say, the graphics are shit, the audio is shit, uh, the gameplay is shit. Um, so, I really, I got, I can't award it anything other than, Zero. Oh, fuck off. Oh, I actually fucking hit the thing. Oh, well. Uh, 
I'm trying to avoid the shots from this fucking thing is uh, a thankless task at the best of times. I mean, look at the fucking size of it. How are you meant to fucking avoid them? And then, because you're trying to shoot the fucking thing, which again is a thankless task. Oh, I fucking hit it. And so, of course, it's time for me to die, because I hit it once. So there you go, uh, that is uh, Star Race, uh, total bollocks from start to finish, uh, naught out of ten. That brings this review to an end, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.